myself Samit Kumar Ghosh, the research scholar in Beats Plain in Hyderabad. I am going to present the a novel algorithm based on Stockwell transform um, for boundary detection and segmentation of hard sound components from the PCG signal. Heart valve dis uh, related disorders are the leading cause of cardiovascular disease and it early detection helps to reduce the mortality rate due to the CBD and this heart valve related disorder, coronary disease and the strokes are the basic forms of cardiovascular disease which creates a major risk factor of the heart disease. Over 17.7 .7 million person mm, die annually due to the CVD and it will increasing annually uh, due to the um, uh, according to the report of American Heart Association. So due to the medical lack of medical practitioner and due to the improve of di um, um, diagnostic performance computational cardiac system is required and the main part of this which needs the proper boundary detection and estimation. And so the first step towards the detection of heart disease, that is the segmentation, it is one of the most important part in for the detection of heart valve related disorders. So PCG signal is nothing but the means uh, um, due to the mechan mechanical event of the heart valve, it will occur and it, it will represent in the graphically, that is called the phonocardiogram signal. It is consist of the heart sound components that is S1, S2 that is normal components and another abnormal components like the murmur. So segmentation algorithm it provides the location of um, uh, heart sound components and it locates the duration of uh, uh, duration of this duration so he, which is helps to identify and diagnosis the murmur present in the heart sound. So in this work, we have developed one novel algorithm which is based on the Stockwell transform and we use the adaptive threshold approach uh, by using um, first order and second order moment from the envelope of the Stockwell transform. So in order to validate the proposed algorithm, we have used the Mitigian hard sound database and um, that uh, collected from the, um, and its sampling frequency is 44.1 kilohertz. So Generally, the heart sound is there are four there are four chamber um, in heart that is called the right atrium, left atrium, right ventriculars, and left ventriculars. And there are four total valve that is one is called tricuspid valve, mitral valve, pulmonic valve, and uh, aortic valve. So S1 is basically it occurs due to the closeness of tricuspid valve and mitral valve. But S2 is occurs due to the closeness of pulmonic valve and the aortic valve. So this um, S1 and S2, these are both are called the fundamental heart sound. Apart from the fundamental heart sound, there are the another two uh, heart sound also. Sometimes it will occurs in the PCG signal, that is the S3 and S4 heart sound. And this figure 2 represents the normal heart sound which is consist of S1 and S2 and the systolic region and diastolic region. The total cardiac cycle is consist of two cycles, two, two regions, one is called on the systolic region, another is called the diastolic region which will occur due to the uh, contraction of uh, and relaxation of heart valve respectively. And figure 3 represents the abnormal heart sound which is consist of systolic murmurs and also diastolic murmurs. <coughs> so this is the literature survey. So in literature survey we found there are so many approaches is exist that is um, called the time domain energy calculation techniques and another is the means uh, envelope based detection techniques they are using in the in the CHOI ETL in the he is, he is, uh, Hilbert transform. And another is there, that is the oblate decomposition of um, techniques and another is called variation and mode decomposition techniques. But in our case we are using the uh, Stockwell transform which is already implemented in PCG, ECG signals in MOCADEN uh, and we are using the PCG uh, Stockwell transform due to the 
its uh, time frequency localization property because it is consists of the it is the hybrid of um, wavelet transform and the short term fourier transform so this is in stockwell transform we use to properly detect the boundary and peak and the duration so uh, hasson components both time and frequency information is required that's why stockwell transform is used to obtain the full time, time and frequency domain representation yeah. and here it, we are using the, the in one property is there here we are using the variable windows I mean, in uh, short time fourier transform or the extension of wavelet transform which is based on the scalable uh, localizing gaussian window and provides the frequency Uh, dependent resolution that is the main formula of the stockel transform it is uh, that um, uh, minus infinite to infinite yt mod of f divided by 2 pi e to the power minus sigma minus t square f square divided by 2 e to the power minus j to pi f t into dt where t and f represents the time delay and the frequency components respectively and we are using the open source database mitigation hard sound database which consists of um, we are taken from total 8 pcg signals and this pcg signals is considered is uh, means uh, collected from the different oscillation area that is aortic area pulmonic area and apex area and uh, to further processing we are down sample from this um, sampling frequency and we are taken in the 6000 this is our proposed methodology i am coming later one by one <coughs> so amplitude normalization because in our hard sound the peak to peak variation is too much so that uh, due to the uh, amplification factor age and sex of the subjects so, so uh, amplitude normalization is required so this because it is difficult to predict the dynamic range that's why we are taking the amplitude normalization and after that we are taking the filtering approach that filtering approach we are use air butterworth filter 10th order butterworth filter of cut off frequency is 150 hertz so this figure 4a represents the normalized pcg signal and figure 2 represents the filter version of the pcg signals so here this is the time frequency representation of the our pcg signals figure a we are taking on the normal and figure b that is the abnormal pcg signals here um, it, it is the means frequency domain representation of our pcg signal we are we are using the stockwell transform so next part the smoothing because here we are using the energy sanan energy theorem to smooth of this envelopes because it is required to minimize the amplitude variation because it amplitude variation is too much high that's why we use here um, envelope detection techniques and the, from the envelope detection technique we use the boundary detection because we are we are we locate the moments of the beginning and end of the hard sounds so this is the thresholding approach we are used here we are using we are calculated from the mean and variance from our envelope signal from this uh, uh, stockwell transform that uh, and we added this two and we are getting this result past figure 7 represent the boundary detection of s1 and s2 components of the pcg signal and the below one figure 8 represents the boundary detection of systolic and diastolic murmurs which is represented into the pink color and uh, boundary detection s1 s2 components that is the represented in the red color so this is the total overall our process first we are taking the uh, figure 9a that is the uh, signal consist of systolic uh, murmur diastolic murmur and s1 and s2 components also but in figure b figure b means fundamental hard sound means we are detect only s1 and s2 hard sounds but uh, and uh, figure 3 that represents the boundary detection which is coming from the fundamental hard sound and figure four that represents only the murmurs which is the murmurs present in our pcg signal that systolic murmurs and diastolic murmurs and corresponding its boundary detection is represents in figure e <coughs> so this is our simulation results what we found we taken total eight signals 
and uh, the total cardiac cycles also we taken and from that cardiac cycles we calculate also the segmentation accuracy what is um, uh, the segment segmentation accuracy that's calculated from the number of correctly segmented cycle divided by total number of cycles and we found that total accuracy we obtained that is 97.5 percent <laughs> So this is our conclusion means our result it shows that it will, the algorithm is computational efficient and it is much more accurate compared to other techniques and also in features we have to means, extract the features from our segmented heart sound and we have to classify the normal and abnormal heart sound from the PCG signal. So we use that reference. For our thank you. Any questions from audience?